They're so weird. They're taking over the world. Ah! Pretty rare and obscure specimens. What and where are hipsters? Hipsters are a subculture of middle class people, usually in their late teens to early 30s, who have recently located in an urban setting from their normal suburban territories they grew up in. The hipsters were first seen after World War II and were surfaced in the 1990s and 2000s and continue to be seen in increasing numbers. A hipster is basically someone who is interested in non mainstream culture and fashion. Specifically, they show interest in indie rock, independent film, and magazines like Vice and Clash. The hipster is most commonly seen in the downtown core of every major North American city and live in apartments off of rent money sent from their parents. They also tend to be arrogant and careless. Extreme hipsters have a feeling of superiority towards others and don't value a normal person's opinion towards things like music. Hipsters in the media. Hipsters take a lot of crap. That's not to say they don't deserve it. Books and websites have been made about hipsters, like look at this effin' hipster in the hipster handbook. Even Adolf Hitler has been tied in with hipsters, with the website Hipster Hitler, which is pretty funny in itself. A quite notable portrayal of hipsters is a British song titled Dickheads Are Cool, which shows hipsters being happy with their lifestyle. Got on the train from Cambridge down to an East London flat Got a moustache and a low-cut vest Some purple leggings and a sailor tat Just one gear on my fix-it bike Got a plus one here for my gig tonight I play safe We all play safe 2020 vision, just a pair of empty frames Dressing like a nut, although I never got the grades I remember when the kids at school would call me names now we're taking over their estates Well, I thought my life is a dickhead All my friends Even more notable is the Hipster Olympics, which is a parody of four Hipster Olympic athletes competing in four rare and obscure events. Well, it's events. a beautiful day here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I'm Greg Berman. I'm Neil Tafoya. And the hipsters are out in full force today to see which one of the own will take the prize at this year's Hipster Olympics. Brought to you by Pabst Blue Ribbon. When you aim for authenticity, aim for Pabst. Contestants have been training year-round inside loft buildings and dive bars all over New York City. And today is their big day. Of course, no self-respecting hipster would ever enter this contest, let alone admit to being a hipster in the first place. So we're forced to assume that our contestants' participation is strictly ironic. Are you a hipster? Now we're at that point where you're probably thinking, am I a hipster? Actually, some of you probably thought this at the beginning of this rare and obscure documentary. Well, chances are, if you're at a fixed gear bike, have an extensive collection of indie records, or trying to produce an independent film about a subject society doesn't care about, shop at American Apparel, have an ironic tattoo, think Pabst Blue Ribbon is a good beer, and buy clothes at the Goodwill that were cool 20 years ago, then you're definitely a hipster. But if you have one or two of these traits, then you're probably just a little different, or could be making the slow transition to hipsterism, because the world totally needs more hipsters. Now, oh, here are some hipsters at Stratford Central. Why is she wearing an Alexis on Fire shirt? Aren't they mainstream? I used to like them, but now I don't, so I just didn't feel like getting rid of the shirt, so I put an X through it, just to show that I don't like them anymore. This hipster says his thoughts on vitamin water. So, like, you know, no, you don't really understand how good it is just not aware. Finally, this hipster talks about his fashion style. Um, actually, uh, I usually shop a lot at uh, Goodwill. I find the clothes are uh, more like my style. I, I, like, people wear those like nice like, $50 shirts and stuff. I, I'd rather pay $5. You know. So therefore, you've been educated a little bit more about hipsters. Now, when you go to the big city, you'll be able to laugh at their judgmental lives or join them if you are a hipster.
I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors, Paps Blue Ribbon, when you aim for authenticity, aim for Paps, and Urban Behavior, because...